Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get things started here. We need to talk about Marjorie Taylor Greene, which, of course, the amount of times I have to begin a sentence with that uh, is astounding. But she has asked her uh, constituents to do some very interesting things. is from Erica, uh, Erica Meehan. Not sure if this belongs in fan art, since all I did was type in a prompt for an AI. Also, it didn't turn out nearly as surrecy as one might have hoped. Purple slime cat with a hammer hanging from its tail. Yeah. Those all look like uh, strange in-between frames, not gonna lie. The next one we have is a comic from Everything Unavailable. A duel between me and Raz. Raz apparently drops a nuke since I have no monsters on the field. When Timer Coon's clock reaches zero, so will all of my life points. I respond with, ha, you fool. You've activated my trap card and ho ho shield. When it's active, the ho ho shield reflects all damage directly at the last second. Despite the fact that ho ho shields have been functionally discontinued. But it is there. Gargama Gold, hello, how are you doing? The last one we have, and I've saved this one for last because it is the most, it is one of the most elaborate fan arts we've ever gotten. This one is from Ivana Dragmire, Maid Cirrus and Maid Raz. In the great reference Maid Cafe, we have Pilk Nilk from Sunset City, Neko Milkshakes, Slime Milkshakes, Catboy Milk, Slime Boy Milk, Booba Tea, Neko Lattes, Slime Lattes, Milk shakes, milk shakes. And there's even more behind here. And there's like oh, owo cookies, the wrong cookies. There's an ocean Keltoy burger. Sugar coated cock. All of it's there. And on top of that, you can scroll all the way down. It's the great deli tree. For that very one time I fucked up saying the great Deku tree. And we've got all kinds of... We've got the Owo cookies, the wrong cookies. We have Channel Pup Cakes. Cat Boy Milk, Slime Boy Milk. It is all there. Do I have to pay a net coin? No, I will actually exclusively not accept anything you throw in if it is thrown in a neck, uh, neck coin. No. But it is, again, one of the most elaborate fan arts that has ever been made. So thank you very much, Ivana Dragmire, and thank you, everybody, for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future episode, the best way to do so is to drop it into the fan art section of the Discord. But with that said, let's go ahead and get right into things. After pointing out that if you haven't subscribed already, if you haven't hit the bell notification icon over on YouTube, and if you haven't gone over to the Patreon, uh, then maybe, maybe check those things out. You don't have to throw money at me, but, like... Patreon is awesome. But speaking of people who have an absurd amount of money thrown at them for absolutely no reason, we got a we got a little recording from our uh, our friend Marjorie Taylor Greene. We're gonna take a we're gonna take a little listen to do to. So say you voted in were you California? Say you voted in California for the general election. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to, you could move to Georgia temporarily. Just move here, rent rent a little place. All you need is one like a a bill and a. Uh, um, and so, you know, in your social security card, and you can go get a Georgia driver's license and register to vote, and you could vote in our Senate races. And so, say you voted in, were you California? So, what did we just listen to? What did we just listen to? Well, what we have listened to is Marjorie Taylor Greene encouraging her constituents to engage in voter fraud when somebody has already voted in an election in another state, she wants them to get their documents together so they can temporarily be a citizen of another state to to just uh, give her a little, get a, little, a little bit of a boost, a little bit of a boost. You know, just a tiny bit, a little, little just, just a little bit to get her a little further ahead, you know? Midnight, I swear to God, fuck you, what the fuck are you doing? Midnight 11 with the 50,001 channel points. 
I, I, I just want to be safe from this shit, and you just, you just throw it at me. Marjorie Taylor Greene wants a little boost to her voting base. I want a little boost away from the fucking cringe. But okay, fine. 50,001 channel points. Midnight 11. No, I don't want to say it. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Fuck you and fuck off. Axolotls with cream. Thank you very much for being on the right side of history. Oh, well. Alrighty. But that's not all we got there. We have Marjorie encouraging her constituents to engage in voter fraud, which is just a little bit, just a little bit strange. Just a little bit awkward. Uh, degenerates like you be gone of a cross glory to Caesar and the Legion. Okay, cool. That sounds like a uh, Fallout New Vegas quote. In fact, I'm actually 100% sure that's a Fallout New Vegas quote. Commander uh, Relgarin, thank you for redeeming your points for an... Uh, fucking monster. Do I need to declare victory again for the battle? No. No. It's pretty much what Republicans are doing to get on the ballots for congressional graces, races. So remember, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, did not win her election here in Georgia to get in District, th uh, District 14. She did not. She managed to get in functionally by default because when she ran, there was a smear campaign thrown against her opponent and her opponent ended up leaving the state. They became ineligible to be her opponent anymore. Now, would Marjorie Taylor Greene have actually lost to a Democrat in a one of the most rural districts in Georgia? Who knows? I don't I don't know. Plug down. Thank you very much for the follow. And thank you for showing her for the hydrate. Didn't she have a threesome uh, with Don the Con and Bim Bobert? Oh, my fucking God. Lunar Alice uh, says, I can't OVO shield anymore. So in addition, you now have mine too. Wait, so we have, oh my fucking God. Terralyn has dropped for 50,001 channel points as well. For Phyrexia. Ooh. Why? Why would you fucking do this? Please, no. Fucking stop. But then Lunar Alice comes in with the fucking another one. I can't shield anymore. So in addition to Terralins, uh, you now have mine too. Of course. Of course. If I'm not dead yet, fucking triple tap me, I guess. Oh, well. Oh, well. We, we done? We, we finished? I'm already suffering talking about Marjorie Taylor Greene. Can we be done with like this part? If what she's saying is true, then would it be okay for us to encourage Democrats to come here and temporarily vote against uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene? Or the various Republicans who are going to vote for Marcus Flowers because they're just that ashamed of Marjorie Taylor Greene? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Uh, but this is not the way you're supposed to gaslight gatekeeping girl boss, Marjorie. Uh, but never forget, never forget, Marjorie Taylor Greene has some choice words when it comes to uh, mass shootings. Here's what I have to say. I mean, two shootings on July 4th, one in a rich white neighborhood and the other at a fireworks display. It almost sounds like it's designed to persuade Republicans to go along with more gun control. I mean, after all, remember, we didn't see that happen at all the pride parades in the month of June, but as soon as we hit MAGA month, as soon as we hit the month that we're all celebrating, loving our country, we have shootings on July 4th. I mean, that's, oh, you know, that would sound like a conspiracy theory, right? Of course. But what's the definition of a right-wing conspiracy theory? Well, by the way, it's the news that's just six months early. Now, this would sound fucking stupid. This would sound completely dumb in any scenario in general. But of course, you have to remember that uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene is ignoring the fact that uh, we do actually have shootings that happen at pride parades. That is a thing that happens. 
But she's going to ignore the fact that shootings do in fact happen at these events every now and again because it's more convenient to her to argue this angle. There are people who already get terrified going. So did the shit in Idaho not happen? Well, why don't we find out? Oh, right. I forgot. 31 people with uh, ties to white nationalist groups were arrested for conspiracies to riot near a pride parade in Idaho. It is clear based on the gear the individuals had with them, the stuff they had in their possession, the U-Haul with them, along with the paperwork that was seized from them, that they came to riot downtown. <clears throat> the people who were arrested were all wearing similar clothing. According to the Anti-Defamation League, uh, Patriot Front is a white supremacist group whose members maintain their ancestors conquered America and left it for them. The group split from another white uh, supremacist group called Vanguard America in late August per the ADL. White said that the group was equipped with shields, shin guards, and other riot gears with them. So while not necessarily a shooting, we certainly did have several security events to worry about at various pride parades. And of course, there have been shootings at Pride, not just in the United States, but elsewhere as well. She's just going to ignore that because, again, it's very convenient for Marjorie Taylor, Taylor Greene to ignore reality and insert her own conspiracy theories. Speaking of ignoring reality, Marjorie, did you know that voter fraud is uh, not generally uh, looked favorably upon? Did you know that? Did you know that? So there were shooting threats uh, here in Canada at Pride. Yeah, it's almost as if, again, this is an issue. Area Starlight, thank you for redeeming your points for an owl. Owl. This is a very strange strategy. I mean, it's strange if you tend to inhabit reality, right? If you live here in the real world where people have you know, thoughts, feelings and shit here it's considered kind of weird to deny reality uh, to make up narratives about things that happen, especially when you are a uh, public official uh, who has a responsibility to multiple people and then at the exact same time uh, after you're done making up your own reality uh, you want to create a new one to inhabit where even if you end up losing an election when being voted for by the people who are living in the state uh, you can just create more voters in your state but this is marjorie we're talking about By Marjorie's logic, anybody can move temporarily to vote for her opponent. Would be a real awkward shame if anybody were to take that uh, particular route. But okay. But most of this comes down to the fact that there are no length of residency requirements in Georgia. So if you've just moved here, you can register to vote on day one. However, though, moving to Georgia with the express purpose of voting without any intent to remain a resident is illegal and can result in prosecution. And I'm reading that directly. That is an actual thing on the books. So the thing that Marjorie Taylor Greene has asked people to do is illegal. But will anything happen to her for it? My guess is probably not, because the unfortunate truth about people like Marjorie, people, most politicians, really, they play by a different set of rules than we do. Things that would be considered expressly illegal for us to do uh, tend to be glossed over when it comes to them. Force birth and no social progress, add crappy schools, uh, and you got the Republicans' ideal voter base. In a lot of ways, yeah. In a lot of ways, yeah. So there's nothing we can do? 
unfortunately, a situation like this, unless she gets prosecuted for that, nope. Absolutely not. But remember, this is the same Marjorie Taylor Greene who doesn't know who the Proud Boys are whilst posing in uh, photos with the Proud Boys. This is the same Marjorie Taylor Greene who doesn't know the politics of Nick Fuentes whilst also speaking at an event from Nick Fuentes uh, where she is a headline speaker. She just has no idea what she's doing. She's just a regular everyday, everyday Jane who's stumbling her way through politics and power, you know. Just a regular person like you or me. Lying about everything she does. But what do you think? I know the comment section below because this is... Uh, it's not even beyond the pale. It's just kind of expected at this point. I, I hate to say that, but it's true. It's very hard to be disappointed when your expectations are, you know, kind of down at ground level. Or a little below ground level. I mean, the worms in the dirt, I mean, they're palling around down there. She doesn't support predators. Ask her friend Matt Gates. Yeah, I know, right? All righty. With that said, everybody, let me know your thoughts down there. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, as always, insert into video tagline here.